So how do we find the domain and range of a piecewise function? Now a piecewise function is a function that is defined by multiple subfunctions where each subfunction applies a different interval in the domain. Now let's consider our first example. That is the function f of x equals 5 where 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 3 and then f of x equals x plus 2 where 3 is less than x is less than 8. Now we can think of f of x equals 5 as y equals 5 and then f of x equals x plus 2 as y equals x plus 2. So let's move on to find the domain and range of this function. Now the first thing we are going to do is to represent this function on a graph. So we have this to be the xy plane. This is the y axis, the x axis. We have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. On the y axis, we have 2. 4, 6, 8, 10, negative 2, negative 4. Now let's consider each function at a time. So the first one is y equals 5. Now we can compare this function or this equation to the equation of a line which is given by y equals mx plus c. Now comparing these two equations, you realize that we have no value for m, which is the gradient. And then the value we have here is the value of c, that is the y-intercept. So we have c equals 5. Now what this primarily means is that we are going to have a straight line that is going to cut through 5 on the y-axis. Now this straight line is also going to be parallel to the x-axis. So we are going to draw dotted lines that cuts through 5 on the y-axis. So this is 5 on the y-axis and then we have dotted lines cutting through 5. Now we have a constraint. Now this constraint is 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. Now this is 1 on the x-axis this is going to be 1 on the x-axis and then this is 3 on the x-axis now we have 1 less than x so we are going to represent that with an open circle because it is less than x and then x is less than or equal to 3 because we have less than or equal to 3 we are going to represent that with a closed circle so this is a closed circle and the first is an open circle and then we draw the straight line connecting these two circles. So this is the graphical representation of y equals 5 where 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. Now let's move on to the second function that is y equals x plus 2. Now considering this function we have the gradient to be 1 that is the coefficient of x so we have the gradient to be 1 and the y intercept to be 2 so we are going to have a straight line that cuts through 2 on the y axis now we have our domain to be the interval between 3 and 8 so straight away let's plot a table of x and y using the function or from the function y equals x plus 2. So we have starting from 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now if x is equal to 3, 
then 3 plus 2 is 5 so y becomes 5 if x is equal to 4 4 plus 2 is 6 5 plus 2 is 7 6 plus 2 is 8 7 plus 2 is 9 and then 8 plus 2 is 10 so these are the values of y now let's plot these values on this graph so for 3 we have 3 5 so this is 3 and then 5 3 5 we have 4 6 this is 4 and this is 6 we have 5 7 so this is 5 and then we have 7 somewhere here so 5 7 we have 6 8 so 6 and then 8 7 9 so 7 and then 9 will be somewhere here and then we have 8 10 so 8 and then this will be 10 so we are going to draw dotted lines passing through or linking these points and then cutting two on the y-axis so focusing on this constraint we have 3 is less than x is less than 8 so we are going to focus on the interval between 3 and 8 between 3 and 8 now we have 3 less than x which means that we are going to represent that with an open circle so at 3 we have an open circle here and then x less than 8 so also an open circle here and then we draw a line connecting these two circles we draw a line connecting these two circles so this is the graphical representation of this piecewise function now let's determine the domain and range of this function so for the domain the domain of this function is equal to now we are going to consider each function at a time so for y equals 5 or better still f of x equals 5 we have the domain being the interval between 1 and 3 now 1 is an open circle so 1 is not part of the set and then 3 is a closed circle so we have 3 and then a closed bracket which means that 3 is part of the set and then union now considering the second function which is x plus 2 we have an open circle at 3 and then an open circle also at 8 now combining these two domain we have the least value of x is 1 the greatest value of x is 8 so this is the domain of the piecewise function now considering the range taking the first function that is y equals 5 now the only y value for the function y equals 5 is 5 this is the only y value for this function that is a single element or a set that contains a single element 5 union now for the second function which is x plus 2 the y values that we have here start from 5 that is an open circle at 5 and then we have 6 7 8 9 and an open circle at 10 which means that the range of the second function is going to be 5 which is not part of the sets an open circle at 5 and an open circle at 10 now combining these two you realize that for this interval 5 is not part however for this we have a single element which is 5 so it means that the range of this function is going to be 5 which is included in the set and hence a square bracket and then 10 which is not part of the set so we have a round bracket so this is the range of this function now let's take our second example 
So for the second example, we have the function f of x equals x plus 1, where x is less than 2, and then f of x is equal to x plus 3, where x is greater than or equal to 2. So we can think of f of x equals x plus 1 to be y equals x plus 1, and that of f of x equals x plus 3 to be y equals x plus 3. So let's draw the xy plane. Now let's consider each function at a time. So for the function y equals x plus 1, we have the line cutting through 1 on the y-axis. So let's plot or let's draw a table that is an xy table for this function. Now we have the constraint to be x is less than 2. So we can start from 2, that is the set of x values. We can start from 2 and then less than 2 we have 1, 0, negative 1 and so on and so forth. And then we are going to plug in the values of x to find the values of y. So when x is equal to 2, we have 2 plus 1 which is 3. When x equals 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. When x equals 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. And then when x equals negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Now let's plot these values or these points. So we have 2, 3. This is 2. And this would be 3. So this is 2, 3. We have 1, 2. This is 1. And then 2. We have 0, 1. So 0. And this is 1. And then we have negative 1, 0. So this would be negative 1. And then 0. So these are the points that we have here. Now, we are given the constraint x is less than 2 and then we know that f of x equals x plus 1 is a straight line so we have this straight line passing through these points and then goes on and on and on so at x equals 2 we are going to have an open circle because it's x is less than 2 so an open circle and then we move along the plotted points in this direction so that is x plus 1 or better still y equals x plus 1 where x is less than 2 so that is that now let's move on to the second function which is y equals x plus 3 so for y equals x plus 3 we have the y intercept also to be 3 and then we are going to construct our xy table. So starting from 2 and then greater than or equal to 2, we have 2. We move on to 3, 4, 5 and so on and so forth. Now when x is equal to 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 3 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8 and continues on and on and on. Now let's plot these points. So we have 2, 5. So this is 2 and 5 will be somewhere here. We have 3, 6. So 3 and then 6. We have 4, 7. So 4 and 7. 5, 8. 5 and then 8. And this continues on and on and on in this direction. So we have the constraints x is greater than or equal to 2. So at 2, we are going to represent that with a closed circle. And then we are going to move along these plotted points. And it continues on and on and on. 
so this is the graph of f of x now let's try to find the domain of this function so considering each individual function first considering f of x equals x plus 1 where the constraint is x is less than 2 now looking at this line the least x value is going to be negative infinity because this line is going to continue on on and on and on to the left so the least x value is negative infinity so we have negative infinity and the greatest x value is 2 and then 2 is not part of the set so we have a round bracket union considering the second function y equals x plus 3 the least x value is 2 and 2 is part of the set because we have a closed circle and the greatest x value is going to be infinity because this is going to continue on and on and on to the right so that is positive infinity so the domain of this function is going to be the least value of x is negative infinity the greatest value of x is positive infinity now to the range so also considering each function at a time considering first the function f of x equals x plus 1 the least y value is going to be negative infinity because this is going to move on and on and on through to negative infinity that is on the y axis so the least value of y considering this function with the constraint x is less than 2 is going to be negative infinity and the greatest y value the greatest y value is going to be 3 and because we have an open circle here it means we are going to have 3 weights around brackets so 3 is not part of the set and then union the least y value for the second function f of x equals x plus 3 is going to be 5 so since this is a closed circle it means 5 is going to be part of the set so 5 and the greatest y value is going to be positive infinity so this is going to continue on and on and on and then along the y-axis you have positive infinity so basically this is the domain and range of this function notice that there is a break in the function at y equals 3 and then it continues at y equals 5.